Ah, Sheffield. I've got some very fond eating memories from this city. And don't let the bleak northern skyline fool you. This place has been an unlikely breeding ground for some serious cultural talent over the years. Jarvis Cocker, Prince Nassim Hamid, and who can forget, Sean Bean. I'd love to do an eating video with Sean Bean one day. Although, given his history on film, he'd probably end up choking to death on a sausage or something. <laughs> anyway, enough rambling. Today we're at Ben's Pizza for another episode of... Lunch box Let's get inside. Just gave myself a headache. Here's the place. Yeah, it's the uh, the Quadzilla box. Quadzilla box, yeah, it's the one on top right hand side. There. Can you see the big one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a bit. It comes in a 20 inch box. <laughs> half don't, an hour. You don't think I can? You half an hour? Take, Is that yeah, what you're saying? But I don't think, I think it might take you all day to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> He's there in the background, I can see him making it. I can see it. <laughs> Wow, this is a, uh, a large box, and I'm quite familiar with large boxes. <laughs> All right, I cannot wait to tuck into this thing. It looks and smells delicious, and uh, these pizzas actually look pretty posh. To say they came from a, a British takeaway, these things are pretty fancy, and um, I don't know why it's taking me so long to pay a visit to, uh, to Ben's Pizza, because they do tons of these uh, wacky munch boxes. It's right on my street. Probably should have got one of the smaller ones <laughs> for episode number two, but nah, would have never lived it down. So I got their uh, their biggest one, the Quadzilla box, which is 25 quid. You get pizza, burgers, onion rings, cheesy chips, mozzarella sticks, coleslaw, amongst a lot of other things I probably missed out. But yeah, it's getting cold now. Let's get the time of going just for fun. And yeah, without further ado, this is Beard Meets Food, and this is Ben's Pizza's Quadzilla Munchbox Challenge. Who's gonna? All right, where to begin? One of these fancy flipping pizzas. It's <laughs> time! What's up, bit army? Welcome back to uh, episode number two of the Munchbox Memoirs. Yes, you're right. This is this is what passes for fancy in my eyes. <laughs> they are, I mean, they're pretty. They're pretty snazzy looking pizzas. What was that rocket on there or something? That makes it posh, if you ask me. Not the traditional way to eat pizza. I realise that, but I want to get this down while it's still while it's still reasonably warm. Yeah, this could be one uh, teething problem with the series, if you'll excuse the pun. The uh, the temperature of the food, it's almost always going to be cold. <sighs> Do some munchbox feng shui. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Yeah, I guess when uh, when lockdown is finally over, I'll be able to eat on site. But until then, it's going to be uh, <coughs> a little bit toilsome. <laughs> this one's a little bit spicy. Yeah, I think the, the jalapenos might have been a dead giveaway, me old tiddlywink. <laughs> Actually, it, it wasn't too bad. It just kind of caught me by surprise. Oh. We'll save the crust to the end. Normally a bad idea, but I think it'll be okay. I think. Yeah. It was at this point that Beard realized it would not be okay. <laughs> yeah, anyway, the, the, the pizzas are down pretty much now, and I've got to say, not everything in this box was enjoyable, I won't lie, <laughs> but the pizzas were flipping top end. Some of the best pizzas I've had from just, you know, uh, uh, what looks like a run-of-the-mill takeaway. That's not a good sign. I was saving this. What the heck kind of sauce is this? I was saving the sauce for the uh, the chips and stuff. The burgers were a little hard to get down. Yeah, cold burgers, you don't say. Anyway, I apologize to some of the more sensitive viewers for that brief moment of flat chones you might have just heard. <laughs> Had a bit of a dicky tummy this morning, but we're powering through. Hopefully gonna end with my pants intact. Only time will tell. <clears throat> oh. Those burgers were, um, they were pretty dense. I guess I should do the cheesy chips next. <laughs> I'm 
back in my face. <laughs> well, we are 16, 17 minutes in, and I'm already, I, I'm just ready to quit. I, I'm gonna make it my mission in life to find a munch box. At some point in this series, I'm gonna find a munch box with no chips, with no chips at all. <laughs> I'm afraid though, today today is not that day. As you can see, we've got an absolute mountain of not only chips, but wedges too, bound together with uh, some, some finest mozzarella cheese which, uh, yeah, has, has solidified now. It's cool to the point, <laughs> as you can see, that it's become uh, quite solid. Still, I'm, I'm determined we're gonna get it down. I won't lie, I am looking forward to uh, some of the other items though, which is why I'm leaving them uh, kind of the end. We got mozzarella dippers, which by the way, were, were quite delicious. There are some fried cheese balls in there. I think some nuggets, uh, onion rings, a, a lot of beige stuff but uh, none of them quite as uh, as taxing as, as cold fries. <sighs> At least most of the potato is done. Yeah, most of them. Although they, they did leave an impression. I, I felt the uh, the full force of their effect. <laughs> hey, we've got we've got a brief brief moment uh, to reflect now. I'm using some of the uh, the cheese dips that you uh, you get with this. Which, it was an interesting consistency, but the flavor was good. Kind of like a really quite thick nacho cheese, almost like a mousse. I'm trying to separate the, the chips from the good stuff. <sighs> Ooh, I, I mean, you can tell I'm in some serious pain now. And by good stuff, I mean, of course, not coleslaw. By the way, look at the size of the two bowls of coleslaw you get. It's just unnecessary. You can swap one of those out for beans or something. We love beans in Britain. Anyway, what are we, what are we doing now? I think we're mostly on the mozzarella sticks and I think there were some jalapeno poppers in there too. Some of the fried cheese balls. They were not my favorite, but the rest was still pretty good. I never was going to defeat me. This is hard going. Yeah, I mean, you can normally tell when uh, when I step back from the table to uh, survey the damage, survey the scene, like uh, an aircraft investigator or something. You can tell that I, I, I'm in uh, some some trouble. And as you can see, I mean, I piled it into one corner of the box, and there's still just a daft amount of food left. I've been eating 30 minutes. So yeah, I, I'm I'm finding it pretty tough right now. It, it's touch and go in more ways than one. <laughs> Come on. This is the point of the video that I like to call self-pity. <laughs> I'm very close to failure and I, uh, this is me pleading with the universe. <laughs> no, I'm good. <sighs> oh man, this, this one's really making me laugh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're coming to the end now. I, I would highly recommend uh, Ben's Pizza if you can eat it warm. And uh, yeah, 25 quid, you can't complain. I can't do it. I can't do it. I tried. I tried. These things are hard. Wow. I thought I would be able to do that. I feel lightheaded. Anyway, it was a laugh. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're in the Sheffield area, give uh, Ben's Pizza a try. Maybe get one of the boxes for like one or two people. Not this one. <laughs> Catch you next time. This guy doesn't think I can do it. I don't think you can. <laughs>